Cloudinary offers a wide range of features and capabilities, but first you need to get your image and videos into the platform. You can do that manually using the different APIs and SDKs available, or you can use the Cloudinary upload widget for a quick and easy solution to create a complete upload experience. To understand how this works, let's start with a basic Svelkit application. First, you need to load the script into the application. The widget code and documentation link can be found in the description below. You'll go to the sidebar and navigate to the how to set up and integrate the upload widget section. Scroll down and you'll find the script to include that you need to add into your application. Now, inside of your Svelkit application, you're gonna open the main entry point, the app.html file. Here, you'll find the head of the document and you're gonna paste the script that you copy right at the bottom of the head. So now, anytime the application loads, you're gonna be loading the upload widget script. Next, instead of writing all of the widget code inside of the primary route, you're gonna create a component to hold all of the required logic for the upload widget to work. Create a new folder to hold the components under src slash lib slash components. Here, you'll create a new file called uploadwidget.svelte. Inside this file, you'll define the required widget code. Since the widget is a client-only code, you need to be sure that the component is running on the browser. For that, you can use the unmount lifecycle method to make sure the code runs only when the component mounts. Inside, you'll check if the Cloudinary object is available in the global window object. Now, let's set up the widget instance by passing the required configuration object. The first argument is a set of information from Cloudinary, the cloud name and upload preset name. Head over to the Cloudinary dashboard and under your account details, you can see the cloud name. Click the bottom right next to it to copy, then paste that value in your. In order to create an upload preset, you can head over to the settings, then navigate over to the upload tab and scroll down until you can see upload presets. You can create a new one by clicking the add upload preset link. Here you have a new name for the preset. You can change it or copy. Make sure that you change the signing mode to unsign it. Now paste the new upload preset name into your code. With that said, it's time to add the second argument to the create upload widget. This is a call log function. The function is going to have two arguments, an error and a result. For now, let's just console log the result to be able to see what is going on. Now, finally, you need a way to open the widget so that you can see it and upload images. For that, you can render a simple HTML button. This button will take care that whenever someone clicks on it, the widget gets opened. For that, add an event listener to the button as onClick and reference a function. This function will use the widget reference and call the open method on that. Go back to the main route, be sure to import the newly created upload widget and go back to the browser. You'll see the button. If you click it, you can see that a new model opens. Here you can browse your files and select a picture of your choice. You can see this green check mark at the top that let you know that the file was successfully uploaded. Now you can click done to close the model. To confirm that this works, you can open your Cloudinary media library where you'll see the uploaded image. Also, if you open the developer tools, you'll see the result that you logged out before. This was a simple example of using a drop-in solution to upload images to your Cloudinary Cloud. You can perform more advanced tasks like passing a callback probe to the component to allow the color to handle the error and result state to, for example, render the uploaded image into the page. If you want to check it out the code for this advanced example, check out the link inside the description below. 
So in review, in order to take advantage of Cloudinary, you need a way to easily upload images and videos. To do this, you can use the Cloudinary Upload widget, which is an easy drop-in solution to get the full experience inside of a Svelkit application. You were able to create and import a new upload widget component to handle the widget by creating a reference to it for future usage.